Okay, this is the November 2018 downtown record show over by Queen uh, Broadview and Danforth. This is route number one. Oh, is that right? I know it's hard to believe that there's any records in here because there's so many people. It's a nice, bright, sunny Sunday afternoon for record shopping. Let's go into the uh, other room, the other area, the main area. So, did you uh, pick up that count of pause? Yeah, I'm just doing the walk around. <laughs> This is like the main area here. Lots of vendors in here. Again, hard to see any records because there's so many people in here. Let's take a walk. My bag is getting heavy, so this is going to be a very quick walk. It's getting really hot in here. This show happens twice a year. This is the last one for the year. downtown record show. Oh, there are some records there. Wow. Actually, have a clear path. Okay, and this room is absolutely hot. It is hot in here. Downtown Record Show, November. Okay. Here's the haul from the Toronto Downtown Record Show today. All in all, it was an expensive uh, weekend. Back to back, Horrorama and then the record show today. Uh, here is the flyer for the uh, next record show um, next year, early, early spring. Let's see, what did I get? Cool bonsai sticker. Plasmatics with Motorhead, Stand By Your Men, No Class, Single. And for those of you who didn't know, Wendy O. Williams and Lemmy, yeah, they were together, all right. There you go. Got some uh, Joy Division. This one is 1978 to 1980. Um, contains previously unreleased tracks. Um demos and uh, radio sessions and and whatnot a very moody band <clears throat> chaos UK the chipping Sodbury bonfire tapes didn't have this one on LP 
early chaos UK. Bauhaus uh, single. Import. Now, if you found this one original, you'd be pay paying a pretty penny for it. Found a repress. I know normally I don't buy represses. If I do, I much like uh, repro posters. It's got to be a damn good one. And uh, I don't know. It was brand new. I couldn't resist this. It's got all sorts of fun stuff on there from the uh, original TV show themes and uh, sound effects and uh, whatnot. Couldn't resist. How many of you remember Digital Poodle along with D-I-N, DIN, from Toronto? This is a rare freaking record. Anything by these guys is rare. Hard to get. Good electronic, um, industrial, uh, just really good shit. Only Roz Williams, man. Only Roz Williams. The guy was a poet. Here's Ashes by Christian Death. Nice gatefold. <clears throat> this is when Valor um, uh, was doing guitars as well. Living in Darkness by Agent Orange. I have not come across this one yet. Um, great skate surf rock band from the old days. Agent Orange. The Sisters of Mercy, Light and Shadow. I don't. This is not an official release. This is somewhat of a weird bootleg um, of demos and alternate recordings by the band. I meant to order this one online. I ended up finding it at the record show today, so I grabbed it. Decent price. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Found these two gems here. I'll show them back to back. Uh, Morbid Tales and um, there we go. To Megatherian by Celtic Frost. These are the uh, reissued, remastered. Um, they come with like everything under the sun. Like these are wicked releases. These are going to be like my playing copies. I do have the originals. And found these again, brand new, sealed for an excellent price. And there you have it, those are my record show hauls. Here's the infamous collection. Just about every genre. Punk, metal, goth, industrial, hip hop, reggae, Ska, a little bit of country. There's even some Elvis in there. Now here's some stuff that I haven't filed away for this entire year. Um, these are my finds for the year so far. Not a hell of a lot, but you know what? It's all about quality over quantity, I believe. So, I love speaking to people about uh, reggae, and 9 out of 10 people who I speak to about reggae, they've never even heard of Ika Mouse. This guy's my number one favorite reggae artist of all time. Check him out, Ika Mouse. And this got this yesterday at Horrorama, Lucio Falci's Cat in the Brain soundtrack. There we go, there's, I've wanted this for so long now, I ended up finding it. Um, a few months ago, the Sisters of Mercy, Some Girls Wander by Mistake box set contains everything. Spooky soundtrack. Slumber Party Massacre soundtrack. Shock soundtrack. Basket Case 2 and... Frankenhooker soundtrack. Boston hardcore compilation from the old days. Great freaking compilation. I actually own this on CD and cassette as well. It's that good. The Hills Have Eyes original soundtrack from the 70s. Weird shit, man. Weird shit. The 
Tales from the Dark Side, the movie soundtrack. That's a dark soundtrack. Hollywood Chainsaw Hooker soundtrack. I was just listening to that one last night. The first Countess album. I found this in the punk rock section of a local record store. Man, they had no idea. I got this pretty much for free. This is the first Countess record. For those of you who know their shit, who know their black metal. One of my favorite, one of my favorite comedies, DC Cab. The Cormans, the Cormans. Uh, fuzzy as all hell, horror, surf rock. Classic, classic. Flipside Vinyl Fanzine Volume 1. Excellent comp. Ministry in Toronto, 1986. Finally got it. King Kong soundtrack. Johnny Cash at San Quentin. The Man in Black. The Hellraiser soundtrack. Study and concentration with Rivine. I found that in the garbage. Found that in the garbage. <laughs> Found that in the garbage. She was a devil in disguise. You know what I'm talking about. Found that in the garbage. It'll be a blue Christmas. I don't think so. Phenomena soundtrack, Argento, Goblin, Demolition Hammer, Inquisition, Sanford and Son, comedy record, Lily Tomlin, Lily Tomlin, The Cult, She Sell Sanctuary, single. That's a, that's a hard to get single, I think. Joan Jen the Black Hearts, pure and simple. Zaveria. Look her up, folks. What a weird chick she is. That goes in my uh, weird section. The Message. Zombie Lake soundtrack. Here's one you don't see often. The Bob and Doug McKenzie excerpts from the original soundtrack. Um, that's a hard one to get. Shell Silverstein for the Freaker's Ball. Freaking at the Freaker's Ball. That is another weirdo. The, uh, whoa, the Nocturna soundtrack. Gloria Gaynor. Uh, Angel, which I got this one at the show, actually, when I saw them. And, uh, Necro Butcher. And one more. No, that's it. So that's everything from this year. That uh, I'll probably uh, file away towards uh, the end of the year. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please share with me some of your uh, record collections and uh, some of your finer pieces. And um, if you liked everything you saw today, give me some thumbs up. And please hit that subscribe button as the nuttiness will continue. The punk, the metal, the goth, the industrial will continue. Hopefully hipsters won't.